that, I mean, let me tell you, Jeremy and Miranda, they have been in over 50 nations up until this present time. And I just believe God's going to open up nations to you. I believe he's just put something on you for nations. Um, but we, we've come um, to Pentecost. That's where I want, I want us to finish um, today. And uh, we had a tremendous time this morning. I know that we've got another meeting to yeah. come. Um, but we had a tremendous time this morning in terms of the fire of God. Yes. And I just want you just to talk about the fire of Holy Spirit. Yes. And then when we come to the end of that, I want you to release the fire. Amen. Over everyone who's going to be watching these um, television and webcasts so that you can receive the fire as well that fell in this place this morning. So just talk to us about yeah. the fire of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I believe that the fire of the Holy Spirit is one of the keys for the church to step into their full inheritance. Mm -hmm. And uh, a few years ago, I was actually um, spending some time in some meetings, just getting refreshed, and God opened up my eyes, and I had a, a vision. I saw an angel walk into the room with a large torch of fire, and on the torch was written a scripture. It was Romans 8.11. And as I had this encounter, the angel handed me the torch. And it was like no other fire I'd ever encountered. Because it wasn't like earthly fire. Earthly fire you don't want to touch. It's going to burn you. But this was like the purest essence of God's love I'd ever experienced. I just want to take the torch and boom. And, and I remember when I came out of this experience, God spoke to me so clearly. He said to me, he said, Jeremy, the key for your generation to walking in the fullness of God is to embrace the fire of the Holy Ghost. And he began to tell me that. And, and he told me, he said, if, if they'll embrace the fire, then they'll receive the, the scripture that was written upon that torch. And that torch had Romans 8.11. Romans 8.11 says this. It says that the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead will, will give life to us and quicken our mortal bodies even as it quickened him. And I'm telling you, Trevor, we don't have a junior Holy Spirit. Yeah. We have the same spirit yeah, as man. Christ. <laughs> And, and the reason why is he lives inside of us. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit has come now and made residence in our lives and rests and remains. But here's the thing. We have the same spirit, but how do we unlock the same potential yeah. that Jesus walked in? Raising the yeah. dead, yeah. casting out devils, seeing creative miracles happening, prophesying the words of heaven over mm -hmm. people's lives. Well, I'll tell you, the fire is the key. Amen. And the reason why is because the fire will get down to the foundations of everything in your life. The fire will remove every hook. It will remove every hindrance. It will remove every roadblock, every place of hidden sin. Anything that's in there that, that the devil could pull on. Anything that the devil could try to pull you down with. The fire will remove once and for all. And there will be yeah. purity that remains. And then what happens is the greater levels of glory come. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Why don't you pray that that fire of God's love would just penetrate into people's hearts yes and then just release an impartation for healing yes let's do yeah. it yeah father we thank you oh holy spirit mm. we just ask you to come yeah. right now and lord we just release you, fire lord. lord even over this uh this uh, this webcast we yeah. decree the fire of god into people's homes into churches into cities lord god lord we pray let your fire fall all across the uk god Amen. lord we pray right now that god you would just cause sure. the love of your spirit lord the holy ghost the yes, fire of sir. god to burn in our hearts mm -hmm. lord and to place an uh, a, a powerful passion for mm -hmm. you in our lives, Lord God. And Lord, I pray that, Father, you would cause people to burn, Lord God, to know you more. That, Lord, their hearts would be lit so on fire, Lord, for intimacy with yes, you. That, Lord, Lord they wouldn't want to do anything to hurt your God, heart. Lord, that, Lord, purity would be manifest in Thank their life you, because they become so Thank aware you, of friendship with you, God. Mm -hmm. And Lord, not only do we pray that, Father, you'd impart fire for intimacy, but Lord, I thank you that the fire of God, Lord, is is it's love to God's people, yeah. but it's judgment to the devil. Amen. And, and, and see, the fire of God is love to people, but judgment to the devil. And when I say that, this is what I mean, is that the fire of God will burn up sin, sickness, disease, everything that holds people back from knowing God. And so with that said, right now in the name of Jesus, 
We decree every sickness, yes. every disease be yes. burned up we, right we, now. We In fact, that. we release right now miracles over the webcast, even over cancer Amen. and over blindness. I, I see right now someone in your right eye. There's been like a cataract in that right eye, and it's almost taking your sight. And God is healing you right now. We release healing power Amen. to you. There's another woman that has kidney issues, and there's uh, inflamed kidneys where there's an infection severely. In the name of Jesus, I command that infection to leave your body. And right Amen. now we speak Jesus. to ears, Amen. and we command hearing. There's Amen. deafness being healed. There's ringing of ears being healed. Right now, I, I feel the Lord is touching someone's back. There's a lower back disc that's gone out. God is recreating that disc. Thank you, There's Lord. another person right now that you were Thank in a car you, accident Lord. a few years ago, and it brought a whiplash injury to your neck, and it hasn't been right since. Just move your neck around like this. God is healing you. And, and in fact, if you need a miracle of any kind, just put your hand on that part of your body right now, and we're going to release fire. Yeah. And so, Father, I thank you for healing of all kinds Amen. of sicknesses, all kinds of disease, all kinds of pains. And we command right now, spirit of infirmity, release Amen. people in the name of Jesus. And we release healing powers through this webcast in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, Jeremy, it's been great having you and also to have you to come and do these webcasts for us. Listen, you can get a whole lot of resources of, of our website which is revivalfires.org.uk and also I'm going to ask Jeremy to give you his website where you can get a lot of his resources in some of the areas and more of what he's been sharing. So why don't you give them your Yeah, our, web, uh, uh, our website is, uh, our ministry is Living at His Feet Ministries and it's livingathisfeet.org there you go. So God bless you and thanks for just tuning in and watching the webcasts.